Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Porn with Sonia. And I thought I would experiment, although I'm a little hesitant to experiment because these trays are discontinued. I don't want to mess up the tray. This is, I've opened up my last quart of Sherwin Williams Color to Go white paint, so I don't want to waste my pillow paint on some experiment, but yet yeah, here I am experimenting. So I want to try a Shelly Bloom on this tray, which, you know, the pouring medium is great and everything. It's just, I don't have, I can't spin off. So um, what I've done, I know I normally use about seven and a half ounces of paint for one of these trays, seven and a half to eight ounces. So I've poured five ounces of pillow paint. I've got four colors and two cell activators. The colors I've mixed, this is a Joe Sonia um, green light, but I mixed with it some primary elements black emerald and made it this kind of a nice, rich, but still bright, a little bit bright with that light green base. Um, I think that could be a really fun color. These, these colors were inspired by, inspired by Chris Glady's latest one. I don't have asparagus, um, so I just kind of made up some green that I like. This is seaweed, which is mostly brass, but with a little bit of a green tint to it. But I would say it's more of like a bronzy brass. Velvet. This little piggy. Both those are this little piggies. And then this is just Amsterdam's Thalo Turquoise. They're all a little bit other thick side. I mean, they're definitely, but I just, I mixed them a little thick because I, I need them to stretch real, I don't know. I should have maybe gone thinner, but I don't know what to do in this <coughs> enclosed environment here. I put tape around um, and I did leave it a little bit off. I didn't put it all the way down so that when I pull it off, I'm not pulling against the painting that's there. I don't want to like destroy the painting as I'm pulling this off. So I don't know, that could be a mistake. I don't mind a little bit going up on the sides. The cell activators I have are both a little, they're like a about a week old, but I've got white and I've got so much of it. So I've got to use it up. <laughs> I've got white and indigo. These are ones I um, mixed up when I was doing some beach swipes. I'm gonna have to do quite a few more beach swipes, I think, <laughs> to use up all the cell activator. So um, let me put on some gloves. And let's get this party started. I'm just not sure. You know, hopefully I don't wreck it. It's not a terrible, terrible waste. <sighs> you know, last time I tried to put gloves on <laughs> during a video, I couldn't get them on because I had I was taking them off and they all got stuck. <laughs> it was a pretty big laugh fest. But I let my hands dry this time. I actually had another pair of gloves on just before I turned this on. Um, but I got some pillow paint on it, and I don't want to mess up my tray, so I thought I'd better get some clean gloves so I don't mess up my tray. And whew, it's been a hot couple of muggy days up here in Michigan, and I think this will be my last painting of the day. So, uh, Wish me luck, y'all. Fingers crossed. I want to see everybody right now. Cross your fingers for me. Everybody, come on now. Double cross them for me. Cross your legs, too. <laughs> I've mixed a little bit. Uh, and, you know, the last of my GAC 800, I mixed it in the last. Look, I just put on clean gloves. And, you know, it never fails. I'm such a messy painter. So let's just pour this out. My five ounces of pillow paint. This could all go horribly, horribly wrong. But we'll see. I thought it would be fun to try. Now that I've proceeded to get pillow paint on my gloves, let me wipe these off a little bit so that when I grab my tray to spin it, I don't get white pillow paint on it. Duh. All right, the order I think, and I I have a lot of paint here and I plan on putting pretty much all of it down because I measured out my seven and a half ounces, right? And this is a 15 inch tray. This is a pretty color. This again is that Joe Sonia light green 
mixed with some of the Color Art Emerald Green. Oh, sorry, Green Light with the Black Emerald. I guess I should get the names right if I'm going to list them out. Okay. Here is the, this little piggy seaweed. I don't have any illusions of blowing this out either. I'm going to, I mean with my breath, I'm going to use my little Revlon hot air tool used for round brushes, designed for round brushes, I should say. This is on a turntable though, so here is the This Little Piggy Velvet. And Amsterdam's Thalo Turquoise. So I might not need this much, but I just was going by, that should be about seven and a half ounces of paint that I would normally use for this. Now I'm going to put some white cell activator down. Then I'm going to put some indigo cell activator down. And now let's blow and see what happens. It could all go horribly, horribly wrong. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I'm not really happy with what's happening there, so let's see if some cells come up there. I would have really liked for some of that green and seaweed to come through, but I pretty much just have, I think, um, just the interference blue and this phthalo turquoise. I got a little bit coming through here, but just a little. So I'm just going to wait and see if some island cells pop up. I've got a couple. I'm just going to wait for a few minutes. See if I can get anything more. I don't want to rush it. And I'm just dying to spread some pillow paint around there. But I don't want too much paint. I think it's all going to roll over on itself, though, if I do nothing. So maybe I will get a little bit. Dang it. So what I'm going to do is just try and put a really light amount that I can kind of nudge into it. And I'm waiting for that middle to kind of do its thing, if it's going to do a thing. I 
Oops, didn't mean to go into the paint there, just up next to it. Okay. That's good. Put up a little bit more right here. I was definitely a little hesitant right here. Not sure what I was going to do. Just stop there. Obviously, I'm going to have a lot more white over here. Okay, that's not too bad. The center. Now, just let it collect. Let's see what happens when we spin. Okay, again. Well, my green is gone, though. I'm a little bit sad about that. Okay. Now I'm going to let this sit for a minute again and let it kind of come down, and then I'm going to pull this right off. Um, again, I don't have it all the way down the tape. I'm a little sad that I don't have much of the green, because that's a pretty green. Boy, did that phthalo turquoise get bossy. I feel like I could try this again with the thalo turquoise on the bottom and that bright green on the top. That might be fun. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to pull this off. This could be a big mistake. I hope it comes off in one big strip. My arm's getting, whew, oh my goodness. I was afraid that was going to drop right down into it. Okay. And right at the end, I pulled some paint up on my thing here. So I'm going to get that cleaned off real quick. So there it is. It's kind of pretty. I will try this again. Um, I wouldn't even try those same colors because they could be really pretty, but I want more of that green to show up. Because I'm a little sad about that. I'm not going to lie. Let's get uh, pretty clean edges there, which is nice. We'll see how this dries now. Let's cut this cleaned up. Make sure I haven't got any more pillow or anything anywhere? I do not. The interference blue looks pretty cool. And dang, just a little, I'm just a little sad about the green. I'm happy enough though that we'll see how it all collects and how it dries. Um, and if it dries nice, she's, I'll try this again because that's a pretty tray. Now, let me bring you down for a close up. So here is a Shelly Bloom tray. Sorry, that light was glaring on you here. So in the middle, I'm glad I waited for those islands to pop up because um, then I got some kind of fun cells, ginormous cells in the middle. 
And that's normally what happens if you get the island cells, you get really big ones in the middle and then you get some, they're like cells. Then you get some pretty fun lacing out to the edges. Then I have some nice kind of just wavy areas out here. Got some more little cells around here, some little peacocky cells out on the edges, which is kind of nice. And the interference blue is gorgeous. Velvet, it's hard to go wrong with that. Um, I think I'd do this again with the cobalt turquoise on the bottom and that Joe Sonia green light with the color art black emerald mixed in on top because that could be a pretty cool look. But basically, it's a pretty tray. So thank you for crossing your fingers with me. And then also just keep them crossed that it dries. Okay, yeah. I'd love it if it didn't crack because then I would do another one of these. I do feel like I tried to measure out how much paint would it normally take to cover this. And then I, so that was five ounces of my pillow paint. Um, each one of those little cups was about an ounce um, of the, but it was a little short. So I figured it was about three quarters of an ounce and I had four of them. So I figured that was about three ounces. So that gave me eight ounces. Then I had my cell activator on top of that. And then I went and poured even a little bit more of the pillow paint around the edges just so because if I didn't I think all of that green would have completely rolled over on itself and I wouldn't have any green showing up so I'm glad that I have at least some of the green along the outsides um, I was hoping for more in the middle but I'm glad I got at least the seaweed there um, so yeah there she is and maybe I should have done the indigo first and then the white on top instead of the white and then the indigo but I kind of liked the idea of getting some light blue kind of that teal colored lacing as well as white lacing as well as indigo lacing which I did get so all right I'd say that was